Hey guys, King of Trimanders here, and today I bring to you the best elemental attacks build guide post December update. So this is after December update when we got Zenogre. This are these are the best builds for elemental attack. There's a lot, so I'm gonna get started right away. First off, we're gonna start off with fire. And we got fire attack level five offensive, which we're gonna start off with the sword and shield and dual blades. This is focused on dealing as much damage as possible. Burst gives you extra damage, but they require Zenogre legs. And it does not need Zenogre Greaves at grade 6. You can actually get them at grade 4. So what this requires you is the Anginath Helmet at grade 6, the Rathalos Mail at grade 6, Anginath Fan Braces at grade 6, Rathalos Coil at grade 6, and the Zenogre Greaves at grade 4. It's at grade 6 right here, but you don't need grade 6 after you build them right away. You can have burst available to you and here's all the equipment skills available to it gives you fire attack gives you weakness exploit as well and one level of burst focus won't matter in this case but the one level of burst is nice to give you that extra damage along with fire attack level five next up we have our fire attack level five offensive build for the great sword long sword hammer and the bow and this is focused on dealing as much damage as possible, but it also gives you level 4 focus, which benefits all the weapon types I just mentioned. Along with that, both still gets to level 4 charge shot relatively fast, and we're going to focus on this using that fire attack level 5 damage. You need Anjanath Helmet at grade 6, the Puke Puke Mail at grade 4, you can also use the Pink Rathian Mail at grade 6, you have Anjanath Van Braces at grade 6, Rathalos Coil at grade 6, and the Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. This gives you Fire Attack level 5 and Focus 4, powerful combination for all of the types I just mentioned, weapon types, and it allows you to get Fire Attack level 5. Next up we have a Fire Attack level 5, the offensive build for Lance. So we have maximum fire damage along with offensive guard. This is literally a damage, uh, damage everything. But you also have guard level 1, so it will reduce some damage while you are power guarding as well. You could swap out the Anginet Van Braces for Barath Van Braces, grade 6 to get guard level 3, but you only have fire attack level 3 instead of level 5. It's a good alternative if you got more defense, but yes, you can use the Barath Van Braces at grade 6 instead of Anginet Van Braces. For this build, you will need the Anginet Helmet at grade 6, you need a Barath Mail at grade 6, Anginet Van Braces at grade 6, Rathalus Coil at grade 6, and Radabon Greaves at grade 4. And last but not least for Fire Attack, we have the level 4 offensive build for Light Bow Gun. Fire Attack level 4 still does a great deal of damage, and based on my research, Reload Speed trumps Fire Attack, so the build gives you both. The thing about it is, you need reloading faster actually trumps Fire Attack because you are able to attack faster. Being able to attack faster trumps damage. At least now, because you need to be more accurate and the ranged weapons in the bow and light bow gun were nerfed. This build also gives you recoil down, so it allows for more accurate shots, since we need to target weak points, weak spots from monsters to do accurate damage. You need Anjanath Helm at grade 6, Palumu Mail at grade 6, Anjanath Van Braces at grade 6, Zenogre Coil at grade 6, and the Legiana Greaves at grade 6. This will give you the following and, like I mentioned, a good balance for the Light Bow Gun for Fire Attack Offensive Build. Moving on, we're going to Water Attack. So this is a Water Attack Level 5 Offensive Build for Sword and Shield as well as Dual Blade users. This is heavy on the Water Elemental Damage. This build also gives you Burst Level 2 for extra 10% damage, which is really awesome. But the problem with this build is that it requires an Ogre Helmet at Grade 6. And as we all know, Huntathon mechanics are very annoying. This build requires you to have Zidogre Helm at grade 6, Gyrotodus Mail at grade 4, Gyrotodus Fan Braces at grade 6, the Rothian Coil at grade 6, and Great Jagris Greaves at grade 6. Maximum water attack, 10% burst, best water elemental attack build for the Sword and Shield as well as the Dual Blades. Next up we have the Water Attack Level 5 Offensive build for the Great Sword, Long Sword, and the Hammer. This will deal heavy water attack damage and it gives you level 2 focus, which benefits all the weapon types above. At Blight, it's not as much as Fire Attack level 5, just because a lot of the water attack... The water attack equipment doesn't carry focus with it, unfortunately. However, it does carry health boost and last stand for small defensive capabilities. For this build, you will need the Puke Puke Helm at grade 6, Gyrotodus Mail at grade 4, the Gyrotodus Fan Braces at grade 6, Rathalos Coil at grade 6, and Great Jagris Greaves at grade 6. Next up we have a water attack level 5 melee which is a balanced build for the lance. It's a great balance of offense and defense because this build has guard level 3 which allows you to use lunging strike alongside power guard even though most of the time you're going to be using power guard. 
But as an extra bonus, you have last stand and defense boost, which are great extra defensive skills, and you still have water attack level 5. For this build, you need the Radamon Helmet at grade 6, the Gyrotodus Mill at grade 4, Gyrotodus Vambris at grade 6, Baroth Coil at grade 4, and the Great Jagras Greaves at grade 6. Next up, we have water attack level 5 range, which is the bow build. While this gives you heavy water damage, you have the cost of speed. And unfortunately, if this feels too slow, you can use Gyrotodus Greaves grade 6 instead of Great Jagras Greaves to get focus level 4 and water attack level 3. So focus level 4 doesn't feel too slow, but you're not going to be able to get water attack level 5 unlike fire, which you can get fire attack level 5 and focus 4. Sadly, this isn't as great as the other elemental builds just because of the speed problem and not having the ability to get water attack level 5 if you want faster speed. If you want heavy damage, this is the build to go, otherwise you have alternates for the bow. For this build, you'll need Puke Puke Helmet at grade 6, Gyrotodus Mail at grade 4, Gyrotodus Fan Braces at grade 6, Rathalos Coil at grade 6, and Great Jagras Greaves at grade 6. And last but not least for water attack, we have the water attack level 5 offensive build for the light bow gun. This gives you water attack level 5 with reload speed level 2, which is a great balance. However, this build does not have recoil down, so you'll have to be good at aiming without it. So this is going to have to require you to be good at aiming at weak spots without, getting, without having a recoil down. So yeah, get used to that kick. But this also gives you Artful Dodger level 2, which is a great way for the perfect dodge buff. And last stand is a bonus. Thanks to the new plus 1 perfect dodge with Artful Dodger, this is actually a great build along with Water Attack level 5. To use this build, you need Toby Kadachi Helmet at grade 6, Gyrotodus Mail at grade 4, Gyrotodus Fambris at grade 6, Zenogre Coil at grade 6, and Great Jagras Greaves at grade 6. Next up, we have the Ice Element, starting with the Ice Attack Level 5 Offensive build for Sword and Shield and Dual Blades. This is a heavy ice damage build with additional features, and those are some good features because you got Weakness, Exploit, and Burst, which gives you extra great damage options along with Ice Attack Level 5. Weakness Exploit allows you to crit as long as you're targeting weak spots, and Burst does give you a 5% damage boost, so it's a nice little double combination of additive damage. And... As much as I dislike Divine Blessing, you know what? At level 1, it's a nice defensive bonus. At 30%, you have a th at 30% chance of reducing an M monster's attack by 50%. So it's a nice little bonus at level 1. For this build, you will need Legion Helmet at grade 6, Rathalos Mail at grade 6, Barriath Fan Braces at grade 6, Legion Coil at grade 6, and Zenogre Greaves at grade 6. Actually, you don't really need Zenogre Greaves at grade 6. You can use it at grade 4 because at grade 4, you get burst level 1. Moving on, we have Ice Attack Level 5 Offensive Build, which is for the Greatsword, the Longsword, the Hammer, and the Bow. Now this gives you heavy ice damage while giving you focus. And focus benefits all the weapon types above. But here's the thing, for bow users, if focus level 3 feels too slow for you, so for bows, focus 3 can feel too slow, you can use Puke Helm instead to get focus level 4, but you can only get to Ice Attack Level 4. Ice Attack Level 4 and Focus 4 is what you will have if you make the adjustment like I mentioned, but if you want to use this build with Ice Attack Level 5 and Focus 3, you need Legion Helmet Grade 6, Puke Puke Mill at Grade 4, Barriath Fan Braces at Grade 6, Legion Coil at Grade 6, and Gyrotodus Greaves at Grade 6. And for the Lance, we have Ice Attack Level 5 Melee Offensive Build for the Lance, and this gives you maximum ice damage along with Offensive Guard. So, you will also give you guard level 1, which will reduce some damage while you perfect guard. You can also swap out Barriath Van Braces for Baroth Van Braces, grade 6, to get guard level 3, but you only have ice attack level 3 instead of level 5. So if you want more defense, you can take out the Baroth Van Braces, the Bar I mean, the Barriath one, and replace them with Baroth Van Braces. So you want more defense. But if you want the pure melee damage build with a little bit of guard, you need Legion Helmet level 6, Baroth Mail grade 6, Barriath Fan Braces at grade 6, Legion Coil at grade 6, and Radabon Greaves at grade 4. Alright, now if you're going to go full blown offense, I stack level 5 offense build with the Light Bow Gun, this is what you're going to need. You're going to have this build which will give you Ice Attack level 5 which does a great deal of damage. And it's going to give you Reload Speed level 2. So Reload Speed level 2 again. Based on research, reload speed trumps ice attack, so, but the good thing about this guild gives you both, and you still have ice attack level 5. 
But unfortunately, you do not have recoil down, so you're going to have to be a little more of an expert with aiming in order to do maximum damage with this build. This build requires you to have Toby Kodachi Helmet at Grade 6, Barriot Mail at Grade 6, Barriot Fan Braces at Grade 6, Legiana Coil at Grade 6, and Legiana Greaves at Grade 6. Moving on, we are going to Thunder Attack, and this is the Thunder Attack Level 5 Offensive Build for Sword and Shield and Dual Blades. This is a very heavy Thunder Damage Attack build. It will also have Weakness Exploit and Burst, which gives you great extra damage options. At Burst Level 2, you get 10% for 4 seconds, and at Weakness Exploit Level 2, you got 25% when attacking a monster's weak spot for affinity. So, great damage options. The only caveat to this build is you need 2 Zenogre pieces at Grade 6. So, you need 2 Zenogre pieces at Grade 6 to get that Burst 2 and for Thunder Attack 1 to give you Thunder Attack Level 5. For this build, you will need Zenogre Helmet at Grade 6, Rathalos Mail at Grade 6, Zenogre Van Braces at Grade 6, and Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6 along with Zenogre Greaves at Grade 6. Next up for Thunder Attack Level 5 builds, we have the offensive build for the Great Sword, the Long Sword, and the Hammer. This is a heavy Thunder Damaged Focused build, as you have Thunder Attack Level 5 of course, and it gives you Focus Level 2 as well, and Focus Level 2 benefits all the weapon types above. And Burst is a little extra for bonus damage, so Burst does give you a little additive damage even when you're using Elementals, but 5% isn't much, but it's still something. With this, you must, in order to use this build, you must have Puke Puke Helmet at Grade 6, Puke Puke Mill at Grade 4, Zenogre Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and Zenogre Greaves at Grade 6. This is the ones where you'll need for Grade 6 because you get Thunder Attack Level 1 at Grade 6 with Zenogre Legs. Next up, we have the Giant Stick for Thunder Attack Level 5, which is a balanced melee build for the Lance. This gives you maximum thunder damage along with offensive guard. And guard level 2 will do some damage while power guarding. So this does give you guard level 2, giving you a little bit of extra de damage reduction if you're using regular guard or while you're mostly using power guard for lance. And burst does give you some nice additive damage as well with this lance build. In order to use this build, you must have the Radabon Helmet at grade 6, Baroth Mail at grade 6, Zenogre Van Braces at grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and Zenogre Greaves at Grade 6. Next up for the ranged weapon, your Thunder Attack Level 4 for a ranged offensive build with a bow. This is Thunder Attack Level 4 and Focus 4 are good combinations. So folk, there is a noticeable difference between Focus 4 and Focus 5, but you know Focus 4 is still great. If this feels too slow, you could use Rathalos Coil instead of Toby Kodachi Coil to get Focus Level 5, but you only have Thunder Attack Level 2. So it's really up to you. If it feels too slow, again, you can switch to get a level 5, but Thunder Attack level 4 is still pretty dang good. Health boost and last hand are also nice defensive skills to have with this build. To use this build, you must have Puke Puke Helm at grade 6, Puke Puke Mail at grade 4, Zenogre Van Braces at grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at grade 6, and Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. And last but not least for Thunder Attack level 5, we have the offensive build for the Light Bow Gun. Thunder Attack level 5 with Reload Speed. It's still really good, and this gives you Thunder Attack level 5 along with Reload Speed level 2. As mentioned before, with all of the other research based off of the Light Bow Gun, Reload Speed trumps Thunder Attack. But the good thing is this build gives you both. You get Thunder Attack level 5 too. And along with that, Evade Extender and Arful Dodger are great defensive skills to have with this build. To use this build, you must have a Toby Kadachi Helmet at grade 6, Toby Kadachi Mail at grade 4, Zenogre Van Braces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, and the Legiana Greaves at Grade 6. Next up in the Elemental list, we have Poison Attack Level 5. And first off, we have the offensive build for the Sword and Shield. It's a Poison Heavy build with Level 5 Poison Attack, and it gives you extra burst. You get two levels of burst with this. However, the sad thing about this is that there are no Poison Dual Blades. So if you're going to go straight up just with a stick and a sword, you have to use the sword and shield, unfortunately. But again, there's no dual blades. So sword and shield, this is the build for it. In order to do use this build, you must have Zenogre Helmet at grade 6, Rathian Mail at grade 6, Puke Puke Van Braces at grade 4, Puke Puke Coil at grade 6, and Zenogre Greaves at grade 6. Moving on, we have the Poison Attack Level 5 Melee Offensive Builds for the Hammer, Great Sword, and Long Sword. This is a heavy poison damage as you have poison attack level 5, and focus level 3 has use for all the weapon types above. Health boost and last hand are also nice additional defensive skills to have. To use this build, you must have Puke Puke Helmet at grade 6, Rathian Mail at grade 6, 
Puke Puke Vambrace is at grade 4, Puke Puke Coil at grade 6, and Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. For the Lance, we have a Poison Attack level 5 melee build, which is very balanced, because with this build, Poison Attack level 5 and Guard level 3 is possible. So you could abuse Poison Passive and Power Guard with this build by just poking your large monster to death and then building up the Poison proc and abusing Power Guard counter thrusts as well. Although Poison and Sleep Resistance are pretty useless, but it's better than nothing. To use this build, you must have Radabon Helmet at grade 6, Rothian Mail at grade 6, Puke Puke Vambraces at grade 4, Puke Puke Coil at grade 6, and Radabon Greaves at grade 4. And last but not least for Poison, we have a Focus Level 5 ranged offensive build with the bow. This build only has Poison Attack Level 2, but it's been proven that with the bow nerf, Poison is still a viable bow build for post game, but it requires better play. This build is also element. This guy is also an elemental guide, so not raw damage. If you want raw damage or if you want to use it, then Burst Level 2 is also viable. However, we're focusing on elemental, so if you're going with Poison Element, Poison Attack Level 2 along with Focus Level 5 is still really good. And unfortunately, bow is your only poison range option as there is unfortunately no poison light bow gun. To use this build, you must have Puke Puke Helmet at grade 6, Rathian Mail at grade 6, Black Diablos Fambrace at grade 6, Rathalos Coil at grade 6, and Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. Moving forward, we have Paralysis Attack Level 3, which is a melee offensive build for the Sword and Shield. Paralysis Attack Level 3 is the highest level possible as of the December update, so you can actually get to Paralysis Attack Level 5. But with this build you have burst as a nice added damage along with weakness exploit for that crit chance and another great thing is this build already has lock on so you have no need to interchange any armor pieces for it to use this build you must have Zenogre helmet at grade 6 rathalos mail at grade 6 rathian vambraces at grade 6 great gyros coil at grade 6 and great gyros greaves at grade 6 and last but not least for paralysis level 3 melee offensive build we have the great sword and the hammer build and yeah, this is it, because there's only three weapons for Paralysis as of right now. Paralysis Attack Level 3 is the highest level possible again as of the December update, while Focus Level 3 benefits both weapon types above. And sadly, like I mentioned before, there are, these are the rest of the weapons for Paralysis as of the December update. There are only three weapon types, the Sword and Shield, Great Sword, and Hammer. But this is specifically for the Great Sword and Hammer because Focus allows you to charge them faster when you're using their charge attacks. To use this build, you must have Puke Puke Helmet at grade 6, Puke Puke Mail at grade 4, Black Diablos Vambraces at grade 6, The Great Gyros Coil at grade 6, and Great Gyros Greaves at grade 6. Moving forward, we have their Dragon Element, and unfortunately, we only have the Dragon Attack level 2 for range build, which is the Bow. This is the best build because guess what, as of the December update, the only Dragon Elemental weapon in the game right now is a Bow, which is the Rosen Arrow. Dragon Attack Level 2 is the highest possible as a December update because only the Pink Rothian Male and the Pink Rothian Greaves gives Dragon Attack. If you want a Focus Level 5 build, you can switch to Rathian Vambraces at Grade 6 for Burst Level 2 and Gyrotodus Greaves for Focus Level 2. So there's an alternate. If you want Focus Level 5 and Burst Level 2, you could use that build and still have Dragon Attack plus 1. But if you still want to gun down monsters and use Dragon Attack Level 2, you need for this build the Puke Puke Helmet at Grade 6, Pink Rothian Male at Grade 6, Black Diablos Fanbraces at Grade 6, Rathalos Coil at Grade 6, and Pink Rathian Greaves at Grade 6. And last but not least for the Elemental, finally we're at the last one, we have Sleep Attack Level 3, which is a melee offensive build for the Sword and Shield, Great Sword and Hammer. So this is a brand new element utilizing Radobon. And unfortunately, Sleep Attack Level 3 is the highest elemental attack possible as a December update, so you can only get up to Sleep Attack Level 3 max as of right now. This build uses Burst Level 4 for some great addition to damage, but if you are using the Great Sword and Hammer, if you want to use Focus instead of additional burst damage so you could get faster charge attacks, you can swap the legs for Gyrotodus Greaves Grade 6 for Focus Level 2. So instead of using Zenogre Greaves, you can use Gyrotodus Greaves for Focus Level 2. For this build, you will want Zenogre Helmet Grade 6, Radabon Mail at Grade 6, Rathian Vambrace at Grade 6, Radabon Coil at Grade 6, and Zenogre Greaves at Grade 6. Also an additional note, Sword and Shield, Great Sword and Hammer, those are the only three weapons that have Sleep Element as of the December update right now. And now, if you want lock-on equipment for any of these builds for melee, there are three equipment with lock-on if you want to add the skill for melee weapons at the December update. So there are three of them. And... 
You can change it, but you may lose a valuable equipment skill if you switch, so consider your best options to fit your playstyle. For some of these builds, I already put Rathian Van Braces on there, which have Lock-On in itself and is the best out of the three right now because you have Lock-On and Burst Level 2. The other two are the Kulu Yaku Helmet, which also gives Critical Eye, as well as the Black Diablos Coil, which is the Waste Armor, which also gives Heroics. So again, you can change these out if you want Lock-On with any of the other pieces on the build, like I mentioned, for Melee. But it's totally up to you, and like I mentioned, consider it because you might lose a valuable equipment skill if you do switch the equipment and you want to use lock-on. And with that being said, be careful about committing to any elemental build because they are expensive. You could also alternate, mix and match, and do other things. These aren't solid builds that you need to de dedicate yourself to. You can mix and match again depending on your playstyle. But much thanks to MHN.Quest for the useful tool. Thank you, MHN.Quest. It's a very useful tool. I'll have the link in the description, but I also have a video on it. So it's a fantastic tool and it allows you to look at all these useful infographs, etc. And is a great build tool builder for if you want to build any builds or plan for any builds, etc. And with that being said, this video took forever to make. It took a really long time and I really make sure I want to have everything together. So please do me a huge favor, please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds. Hopefully this guy really helped you out and gave you all the pathways for all the elemental weapons and attacks for Monster Hunter Now. Good luck on your grinds again, and I will see y'all on the next video.